I guess it's like a prototype. This is using zip ties. This part is not completely sealed. I'm holding onto the bags using my legs. Two thousand years ago, a single critical passage surrounded by hostile deserts and impenetrable mountains connected China with civilizations to the west. Now, two adventurers with their electric skateboards will retrace this historic route as they escaped Wild West China. Most of the time we stopped every 10 kilometers. I found that around after like around nine, nine or ten kilometers, my feet were really, really numb. Yeah, me too. Out of all the boards I've used, this is like the smoothest ride. But even so, after ten kilometers of non-stop riding, you, your feet still get numb. I mean, yes. this, it's it's pretty unusual to ride ten kilometers non-stop. Actually, like we usually ride in Shanghai, and you know you have to stop. You have to stop for lights or pedestrians or. Yeah. You have to stop for something, but today you know, we, we're pretty much just going in a straight line, empty road, nothing ahead of us. Yeah. So, yeah, your feet still get numb. <laughs> uh, and we traveled a total of 68.5 kilometers. The weather was really cold and weather, it was yeah. just getting like colder and colder. How do you feel? Tired and cold. It's pretty cold. It's 12 degrees right now. 12 degrees Celsius. Yeah, it kept getting colder. I think it started out at 14, 14 degrees Celsius. Yeah. And, and then when we finished, I think it was like 11. No, it dropped uh, only like 8 or 9 degrees. 8, yeah. 8 or 9. So cold. 8 really or 9 cold. degrees Celsius. So we both, we, we didn't bring enough clothes, warm clothes. After we, we arrived here, we actually went and bought more clothes. <laughs> <laughs> bought a sweater each. Uh, what else? Uh, took some photos on the road. Yeah. yeah, taking photos took up a lot of time. So, so here's the thing: we we had to change our plan for this trip. So our our original goal was to travel 1,000 kilometers mm -hmm. to go from uh, Wu Wei to Dunhuang. But but here's the thing: okay, that's the city center. It, it takes too much time. So if we go 80 kilometers each day, or, or 70, if we go about 70 kilometers each day, we can hit a thousand and we can reach Dunhuang. But, but like our trip today took six hours. We, we weren't expecting it to take so long. I think we were expecting three or four hours. Yeah, excellent. Finally, we're here. Yay! First, first real stop. Because we have to take breaks, yeah, we have right? Many, and we have to change reasons. batteries and we yeah. take we have to take photos and videos, and it's mainly the, the photos and videos. Like Yeah, mainly because we want to record everything. We want to have nice videos, nice pictures after we go back. Yeah, it's not just only the road trip. We have to bring back some good stuff, right? Yeah, so I think we, we're going to trade... Um, we're going to trade the goal of 1,000 kilometers to get better photos. Yeah. Okay, better photos and videos. So... Again, we're gonna abandon the 1,000 kilometer goal because if we do that, then we just, I don't think we have enough time. Yeah, all, to shoot all the video you, s you watch, and videos. And you will be only just on the road and keep riding, riding, it's so boring. Yeah, it'll so be we, like what you see today. Yeah, we, we don't want that. So tomorrow we're gonna take a bus or a train. Train. We're Pro gonna take a train, train. Yeah. to someplace that's more interesting. Because look, here's the thing Wu Wei was not very interesting. Yeah, Wei Wu. So boring. Wu Wei. Wu Wei. Wu Wei was not very interesting. You know, this place is not very interesting. The, between here and the next place is not going to be very interesting. We, we have too much footage that's not interesting. We need, I think we just yeah. need to get to some interesting stuff. So yes. we're going to take a bus, we're going to go straight to that place and then start shooting some much better stuff. Yes. So, so that's the plan. Yes. Mm. This is the bed of the 
So today we took a bus to Zhangye and but before we could get on the bus we had to wait a couple hours because there's not a lot of buses here. And during those two hours we just rode around Yongchang and we found this park. It was uh it was like an abandoned park. There was literally nobody there. Wow, what a weird place. Abandoned park. Yeah. All right, content. Max didn't have a lot of power on his board because he, he didn't charge it last night. He thought he did, but inside the battery case, he didn't plug in the, the power input cable, the, the black cable. Oh. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> so, so he didn't have much power left, so we, we didn't spend a lot of time there. Yeah, and then we went back to wait for the bus. And then when we got on the bus, there wasn't enough room for us to put our boards. So we had to put our boards inside the bus, right on the, in the walking path. People were really nice. No, nobody was really complaining about it. They were kind of helping us um, put our stuff down and you know, make, make, making room for us. So on the bus, we got to take a look at the path that we would have ridden if we were to continue with this uh, thousand kilometer road trip. And, uh, it, it was a, it was better. It was more interesting than than what we were riding before. We actually saw part of the the Great Wall. This is like toward the western end of the Great Wall. Looks very different from the eastern end, from the eastern end, like where Beijing is. Oh, and then it started raining. <laughs> and then by the time we got off the bus, it started raining, kind of hard. Like, like it wasn't a small rain. The past few days it was raining on and off. Wherever we went, it was kind of like raining a little bit. Uh, but today it was like actual rain. Water is covering my glasses. My visibility is getting really reduced. You know, Randy from Backfire, he told me that it's not gonna rain. And you know, every day, like nearly every day it's been raining at least a little bit. So we're in Zhangye right now. Um, we didn't get a chance to explore the city yet because we got here kind of pretty late. The bus ride took like over three hours. And besides, when we got here, it was raining, so I couldn't really do that much. Ordered way too much for dinner. But it was really good. The food was really good. Um, I'm not a foodie, so <laughs> I can't really comment too much on what the food was, but uh, it was pretty good. Get the white thing, get this stuff. <laughs> it's like this milk uh, sweet thingy. <laughs> it's like a dessert. I don't know what to call it, but uh, it, was, it was pretty good. Yeah, so this city should be pretty interesting. The, the city itself should be kind of interesting. We'll, we'll ride it around, take a look. But um, nearby, there's a lot of very spectacular scenery. I've never been here, but you know, if you just Google this place, Zhangye, you'll see that nearby there's, there's a bunch of stuff. There's like, there are places that are compared to the Grand Canyon. I'm really looking forward to riding our Backfire Rangers over there. Hopefully tomorrow we get good weather and uh, hopefully we can get some good footage. Today has been a very interesting day, but let me let me first show you what's going on over there before I get to uh, talking about today. Hi, Max. Hi. So Max is here trying to salvage a short-circuited battery pack. It smells like something got burnt. Ooh. Okay, let me tell you what happened. Where the hell is Max? 